YouTube kick. So today we're going to be reading about teenage boy who was arrested over schoolgirls who were assaulted in general neutral toilets at their XX secondary. So let's start. <clears throat> A teenage boy has been has reportedly been arrested over allegations that female per pupils were assaulted in the gender neutral toilets at a secondary school in Essex. I, I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Police were called in over four allegations of a serious assault at the school, which has not been named, according to the Daily Telegraph. It is understood that three of the alleged attacks took place in the toilets that can be used by both boy, boys and girls. The school report, uh, the Essex school reported a number of gender toilets to be used by boys or girls, as well as a set of open suite, S open, it's an open suite, but what is, the, what is the open suite cubicle? I have to look that up. A set of open suite cubicles that can be used by either sex. I'm assuming they're like uh, a cubicle, like you see when you go, what we call stalls, right? Not a urinal, but a stall where you can actually go into there. I'm assuming that's what they're talking about. This comes as the government is anticipating the published transgender guidance for schools in the coming days. So, the Telegraph said the school had not carried out an equality impact assessment on the provision of gender-neutral lavatories, although it is not required to do so by law. It is added that the school complied with the statutory requirements for the provision of the toilet faculties, one of which states that schools are required to provide separate facilities for children aged 8 and over. Wait a minute. The schools are required to provide separate facilities. The new guidance is expected to ban schools from letting pupils socially transition by changing their names, pronouns, or uniform if their parents do not consent. I like that. According to The Sun, it would prevent children who are questioning their gender from playing competitive sports or a competitive sport. At the moment, many schools are making their own decisions, such as whether the, to introduce gender-neutral toilets or changing rooms. Labor has criticized ministers, oh, ministries, for delaying issues, the issuing the guidance, insisting schools, parents, and pupils are sick and tired of reading conflicting rumors about it in the newspaper. Education Minister Nick Gribb promised earlier in this month this guidance will be drafted. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm wondering if that other article also said the same thing. You know what's so crazy about this? And I'm glad that they, it sounded like what they were saying is that there's starting to become a thing where they're trying to say this ain't going to happen because of this kind of stuff that continues to happen. This is what I don't understand. And once again, I actually read something on Twitter. Of course I did. Um, <laughs> I'll be really into that place, man. I'll be all over the Internet. Instagram don't really have much. Just pictures of people living fake lives. But... I almost lost my train of thought. What I was going to say is what ends up happening with all this kind of stuff and the problem that we see now is that men are the ones asking for this stuff. Men in large numbers are the ones asking to use women's bathrooms. You don't see a whole lot of trans men or um, women who want to be male who are asking to go into the male's bathrooms. It's always the men who are saying, you know what? I, I want to go into the women's bathroom. You ought to let me do it because it helps my mental health. If your mental health is that fragile where you feel like you got to go into a female's bathroom, there's something wrong, sir. <laughs> something wrong with you. Because at the end of the day, we need to make the women feel comfortable. Why don't you care about them? Why do men who want to live this life as a female not care about the women? They always say that they care about women and they we should care about women and they are women. But when it comes to being comfortable, they don't care at all. If a woman feels uncomfortable around you. Because of this kind of stuff going on, shouldn't you at least try to acknowledge that, that it may actually be a problem instead of just gaslighting these women and saying, well, they're transphobic? It's so goofy. It really is goofy. You know, I made a video the other day that was called Men Who Wear Dresses Are Creepy. Listen, I'm not saying every guy who wears a dress is creepy. But what I am saying is the guy who wears a dress who wants to go into a female's bathroom, I tend to think... I tend to go on the side of creepy because I, once again, like I said the other day too, when I said that it's kind of weird that there's some people who right, like guys who get breast implants, right? And they immediately want to take off their shirt and show the world their breasts. I think that's creepy. Why get breasts just to show the whole world you have breasts and show them your nipples and breasts. I don't get that. Why do you feel like you have to go to your way to be inappropriate? The same thing I feel like it is with the female bathrooms. Why do you feel like you have to go out of your way 
to go into a female's bathroom. I think it's also where you have to go out of your way. Do we make that other video that talks about being a gynecologist, going to a gynecologist as a male, born male? Don't you find that so inappropriate? Like, don't y'all find that just a little bit weird that you feel like you need to go to a gynecologist knowing for a fact you don't have a uterus or anything like that? Why? Why do you want that so bad? That sounds like a mental issue to me. And we can't allow ourselves to give into this delusion because somebody who's fighting that hard to go into females' bathrooms is weird. Somebody who's fighting that hard to go to a gynecologist is weird. That Somebody fighting so hard for us to accept that dresses are normal on men is weird. I'm sorry. It just is what it is. Because when they fight this hard and then they immediately tell us why do we care so much? Because you're making us feed into your delusions. And that's not right. It'll never be right. Leave people out of your delusion. Same thing with women. Leave them out of your delusion. They are uncomfortable because this kind of stuff keeps happening. And even when Target, if y'all remember, Target was one of the first people to ever have this gender neutral bathroom or allow men to go into the bathroom. That was, what, 2015? Right in that area, 2015, 2016, when they did that? And I remember talking about it and saying, we'll never go to Target. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I'm not a Target guy. But I remember people saying, they're never going to go to Target because this is going to turn into a problem. And people were like, no, it's not. It's not going to turn into the problem. Guys are going to start assaulting women. You're not. Only creepy men are going to want to keep going into a female's bathroom. I am not here to say that there's some people who have. Listen, the exception to the rule. Okay. Doesn't make the rule. Just because there's an anomaly, right? There are some men who really live their life as a female, look like a female, can't tell the difference between them. And they go into the female's bathroom and they don't do anything, right? Doesn't mean anything because you're going to have men who really want to go in the bathroom and assault the women. Why not just take that out completely? Let's just nip that in the butt, okay? I don't think we should ever get to this point where we start allowing the men go into women's restrooms. And stop gaslighting women every time they get assaulted in there or they feel uncomfortable when we go, oh, that's transphobic. No, honestly, you're just a hateful person. And I wonder if you really even care and love women at all. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Y'all have a good day. Love y'all. Peace.